Yesterday was a failure with a fuel rail and today is going to be a failure with a radiator. Maybe not, maybe. Um, lockdown haircut's looking strong, innit? Um, yeah, got a radiator, I'm going to slimline fan and some clips, things in a packet. Serious about performance. There you go, looks all right, doesn't it? Sort of, I don't know. Maybe it does. Um, this is apparently an issue that I might have, which is, I'm guessing that's where the fan switch goes. Um, that the threads might not be right, but we, we don't expect things to go properly or well, so we'll see how we get on with that. Otherwise, I can just leave it in and see if it works like a Vauxhall did, and you can loop your fan wires around and make your fan coming all the time, which is not the best, but it works all right. Um, I do have a slimline fan for this, which uh, looks a bit small. Actually, no, it doesn't look too bad. It's a, I think it's a 10 inch fan, I did, I can't remember. Um, it's either a 10 or a 12, I could probably get away with a 12 looking at that. Um, if it's too small, I'll change it. So let's get that unwrapped and then we'll go and, well, remove the front end of the car, I guess. That must be the old drain, I think. I think that's the drain, yeah. Pipe, cap, breather. That looks alright, doesn't it? Has it got a logo on it? Check. See, it's a jack speed on it. That'd be mega cool. No. That's not mega cool. There you have it. Slimline fan. Um, these are dead simple to attach. You come with these amazing looking cable tie type things. Mm. Won't bother that. You just push it through the car. Tie your little cable tie and that's you. It's dead straightforward really. Um, yeah. It's a 10 inch fan I ordered. I probably could have actually easily fitted a 12 inch on. I could probably fit two 10 inch on. But what we're going to do is we're going to see how it runs with this because it's probably not much different in size to the original fan. And there's your little connectors there, little wires. So, yeah, so we'll get the original one out. We'll make sure everything mounts up. We'll see that. And then locate the fan where we need it. Now, the main point behind this was because I had to chop a bit of fan to fit the Skunk 2 inlet on. So this should be huge amounts more of clearance because obviously the fan actually sits on that side. I think, yeah. Yeah, it sits, about some, it sits on that side of the radiator anyway because this side is normally for an aircon fan. I don't have aircon, so I'm not bothered. But I can always move the fan to that side if I wanted to. I'll just stick it in the middle. So we need to get the other one out first and then we can look into doing that. So let's go get some tools. I don't even know if I need to jack the car up. I'm not sure if I do. Oh yeah, also got, there we are. Bag of them clips. Mostly because the red things that I got are pissing me off because they keep falling out and I can't make them fit properly. So we'll replace them with them. Right, take your bumper off. You've got 10 mil, which is up there. I'll point to it because you can't really see anything. It's up there. Shoot the tent, look at ten or eight. On either side. There is a row of clips in the bottom there. There's one of the row of these clips as well. Let's keep it in and then obviously they go at the top. So we'll get the grill first and then we'll work on from there. Yes, this is where I bought those clips because they just keep falling out. So, missing ones or other. I don't know where they've gone, somewhere in Cumbria. But yeah, you need to separate this from that, which is loose anyway. Uh, yeah, then that'll be a grill out. I think it's just get them out and it just pops off. Now, if you get, if you get this panel off here, the bumpers, the, the grill's actually those clips into the bumper as well so we'll just leave that attached to the bumper and um, that comes out on its own and just slides out no clips on it there just stay to the hand of the hairy pretty swindon made I'm a bit worried about taking this bumper off actually what i might find low mileage this car and all actually the bumper bolts are eight mil 
if you've lost your 8mm, which I have, that's the closest in metric. Seem to work alright. Right, it's like none of the clips, none of those are in that hold the bumper onto the under tray, not a single one of them. Um, it's them, I don't think it's them one. No, it doesn't look like it's them one. So this should just now pop off. If it is one, if it is, if it doesn't, it's these clips here at the front. But I'm pretty sure it's the ones at the back. Yeah, this bumper's been off before. Um, somebody's, should we say, sellotape that back together. Smart one. Well played. There's no tape under there. It's definitely been done previous. So I'll get some, yeah, you see, look at that. Ridiculous. So I'm gonna get some Gorilla glue on it. Maybe that's a replacement bump, you know. Wouldn't you? So I'm gonna get some uh, Gorilla glue. Glue that back together anyway. But the rest of it, it's all right to be honest. I was expecting a lot worse. It's not bad at all. Loads of space down there, isn't there? I think we'll put the oil cool on one of these sides at some point. Right. Now, I need to undo those bolts there, get that pipe off, which you can see I've cut amazingly well. That pipe off there, and the one down the bottom as well, which you can't see from here, but it's down there. Let's get that one off, uh, and then unplug the fan, and then everything should pull out together with a bit of luck. And get ready to mount this new one in. Yeah, a little bit better than I was thinking. Yeah, so we're just gonna run the line of that along there. I'm assuming it's gonna be taped all the way along. Yeah, that's stuck either side, right? Along there, and then I'm just gonna keep it together with a bit of tape as well for now until it glues. Use this in a lot of stuff, hopefully, this will work. It unplugs there on the right hand side, it's just back of the fan so once you're taking the brackets off at 12 mils or rusty 12 mil bolts or somewhere there pull it forward a little bit and you can get down to that easy enough that just pops out so then we've got um there's also the wiring plug on this side here which you need to just take out that bracket and you've also got this expansion tank hose which will be clipped into that little clip there just pull that off you need to get that hose off anyway and then we've got that hose Holes at the bottom, which you might be able to see now. Look at all that rust. Jesus. Um, and then we've got that plug down there, which is also, I think that's the fan switch, temperature switch for the fan. And that's pretty much everything off. And then this will just lift out the front. Shame I haven't got any paint for them. So that's that out anyway. Um, Tell you what, couldn't have to get that bolt easy now. I wonder if I'm going to try and get that out because I didn't do anything anymore. And then you can probably change the start mode dead easy as well with the radio here. Oh, it's right there. Ow, I managed to split my hand open. Of course, I ain't got spanners, not a just double one. Wait, fine though, but bloody hell, that hurts. It's deep as well. Bastard. Oh yeah, if you need bottom hose or rubber bush, temperature set there, fan switch, sun switch is that one there, everything else you just don't need. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually snip that wire there and use the plug so that I can unplug it dead easy. Of course after I've stopped my finger bleeding, which I have to go and get some bandages I think for that. Um, and then put these on the new radiator and then weigh it up and then see where I want to mount the slimline fan because there should be loads of room for that now that's really sore though oops found a KFC napkin and some sellotape spot up nah different thread Nip that up in it. Leave that off. 
threading for that. Never mind. Nip that up for now. That'll do. Let's join the front wires together and hope it comes on. I've probably done that wrong, but looks all right to me. It's not going to go anywhere. Let's go mount it up. Get that pipe back on. I've nipped that up. Kept the sensor. We'll sort that another day. That'll be it. You can see how much thinner the fan is compared to that one. The radiator is a good bit thicker as well. Um, but yeah, we can now put that back in and then we'll sort the wiring out for the fan there and then hope, hope we can make the fan work without it being connected. Well, sorry, without, the, without that being connected, all I'll do is I'll join the pins together see if it switches it on. It might, it might not. We'll see. We love problems, don't we? Um, so we've already got a problem with the fan switch not screwed in. And then we've got problem that not fitting. I mean, it might come down a bit more, but it's not going to go down much further. I need to put the brackets on it, see how far off it is. I think it's been miles off, to be honest. It needs to come, it needs to go in that way. Whole load. Still got the KFC bandage on. Yeah, great stuff. So that's our side. Um, I've left them off at the bottom, to be honest, but I'm going to take it back out and trim them down a bit just so it doesn't rattle around. Then I'll start putting the pipes back on. Yay. So you can see that's where to chop through the fan for the throttle body to fit on. Well, for the idle air control valve plug to fit on. It's quite a bit of a chop out. And that's why I'm ending up actually buying this radio here. Because if you see now, miles away from everything. Um, I've also bent this tiny little bit with small bits. It, it, probably need to trim it a bit with um, like a tool or something which I haven't got to make that fit better but that is ready to go on so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop through these wires here so I can use this original plug for the new fan wiring now this is obviously red and black but inside this fan plug it's black and blue can you see there and the new fan is also black and blue so I'm just going to join the black to the black and the blue to the blue hope for the best what's the worst that can happen and then try and loop that temperature sensor plug together hope that that puts the fan on with the ignition otherwise I'll have to come up with a new solution otherwise we're ready to go so we'll get this wiring done first I think that's the best plan, chop that plug, because that fan's knackered anyway, it's no good to anybody. So yeah, we'll do that. I don't need that bracket, I can't be honest with that. Awesome. Just loop them round together for now to test it. Got that loop together there. I'll fire the ignition on. Let's see if the fan works. Probably not going to work, but... that way I've done it. It's uh, professionally soldered together using crimp connectors and black tape. Yeah. But that will now plug straight in. Um, I can now properly put this back in now. So this clip, it's uh, it's lost its spring basically. It doesn't feel so clever. Um, but this one's fine. This one was from the top 
of radiator hose off that end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one on the bottom radiator hose, replace the top one with that, and then order up a new hose clip because that's going to be easy to change. It's going to be a minute compared to having to get down there, take the radiator and the bumper back off. So that's the best plan. Um, otherwise, it's probably the only problem I've encountered since trying to refit all this. Um, everything else looked alright. I managed to get that bracket off as well. Really done. That one uh, I had to cut through that because I wanted me the videos. So I managed to get rid of that, so that's out of the way as well. It's a thumb up, but because of the finger, it looks weird. Yeah, um, wasn't that bad to be honest. Um, I still will need to get that point with this dodgy finger, that fan switch sorted out. Um, that's the wire there, I just left it at the top of there so it's easy access. Um, fan works, radiator's back in. Notice how the bracket rubbers are not quite right, but it ain't gonna go anywhere, so I'm happy with that. Uh, now, let's refit the bumper, I guess. That's operation done. So we can, yeah, didn't even need to jack the car up or anything. Um, I'd say it was successful, it wasn't bad. Um, also, I've got a new um, pressure gauge coming for the rail. As soon as the one broke, uh, Matt decided to send me one out. Very kind of tactical racing for that. In fact, it was my own hand that decided to snap it, but they've decided to send one of them out, so that's cool. Um, also, got some PTFE tape which I was recommended to use as well. So that'll just go, I'll be able to swap that back over in a, about a week's time maybe. Um, and now I need to look for another rocker cover to get painted up, tidy the rest of that up, and mapping soon. Awesome, bumper back on time. And lastly, um, replacing these things because they keep falling out, I don't like them with uh, some brand spankers. Can't even really tell, can you? But yeah, there you go. See that side? Yeah. It's like a new radiator. But operation complete. Notice there's loads of room for an intercooler. It's nice. Um, yeah, so just need to put coolant in it. I found this in the boot when I bought the car, so I might as well use it. I've got some other coolant already in it, and then not lemon and lime, but water to put in as well, top it up. And I'll check it after I run out and see if it's alright. <laughs> 